Welcome everyone to Caleb Watches Movies, the channel where I, Caleb, randomly select one of the many movies that I own and I watch and review them for you, but today we're talking about the Oscars. Ah, it's one of my favorite days of the year. It's one of the things that I love predicting for. And that's what today's episode is all about. I'm gonna be predicting who's gonna win the top six Oscars of 2018. Oscars. Oscars. Kind of hard to say for me. Is it 2018 or would this be considered like 2017? Because all these films came out in 2017. I don't know. That one always confused me, but hey, let's get into it. So first up, we're going to be predicting on who's going to win the Best Supporting Actress Academy Award, and the nominees are Mary J. Blige for Mudbound, Allison Janney for I, Tanya, Leslie Manville for Phantom Thread, Lori Metcalf for Lady Bird, and Octavia Spencer for The Shape of Water. I think Allison Janney has this Oscar in the bag. If anyone else win it, I'm going to be extremely surprised. Really, the only one that I can see kind of sneaking in behind Allison Janney is Lori Metcalf, but... Really, Allison Janney has this one. I think we have a great group of nominees this year. To be honest, I really don't know why Octavia Spencer is in there. I watched Shape of Water, and yes, she's fantastic, but really, I don't think stood out among someone else. I really think someone else should have had that nomination. But that aside, Allison Janney will win Best Supporting Actress. And now moving on to the category of Best Supporting Actor, and the nominees are Willem Dafoe for The Florida Project, Woody Harrelson for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, Richard Jenkins for The Shape of Water, Christopher Plummer for All the Money in the World, and Sam Rockwell for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. I hope, I pray, that Sam Rockwell finally gets his Oscar. Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri was incredible, and his performance was amazing. I'm a little worried, though, that Woody Harrelson is also nominated from that film, I'm kind of worried that it's gonna kind of split the vote between the two. This might be an instance where they finally give Willem Dafoe an Oscar as well. Kind of be more like a lifetime achievement thing. I wouldn't be upset at all if Willem Dafoe won it, but I really believe that Sam Rockwell has this one in the bag. And now let's move on to Best Actress, and the nominees are Sally Hawkins for The Shape of Water, Frances McDormand for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, Margot Robbie for I, Tanya, Sarsi Ronan for Lady Bird, and Meryl Streep for The Post. <laughs> of course, Meryl Streep is on there. Even though her performance was amazing, it's just kind of like a, um, yeah, we're putting Meryl on there. No matter what she does, she's always nominated every single year. And once again, of course, her performance is magnificent and she's beautiful as all get out, but it's not gonna go to her this year. The winner, hands down, and I would be really upset if she didn't win, Frances McDormand. What a raw, gritty, humorous performance. Her situation in that film is so heart-wrenching, but yet she is able to find kind of the sassiness and the humor that you kind of need for that film. If everything was all so dark and depressing, it would not have been that enjoyable. But she makes it enjoyable, damn it! I could also see Sally Hawkins winning for Shape of Water and then Ronan winning for Lady Bird, but no, my gut is telling me Frances McDormand all the way. All right, moving on to Best Actor, and the nominees are Timothy Chalamet for Call Me By Your Name, Daniel Day-Lewis for Phantom Thread, Daniel Kaluuya for Get Out, Gary Oldman for Darkest Hour, and Denzel Washington for Roman J. Israel Esquire. This is a stacked category this year. All five of these performances are amazing. They all deserve to be in this category this year. I'm so stoked that Daniel Kaluuya made it into the category. I thought his performance was amazing. Just those, those tears alone deserve Oscars. Denzel Washington, of course, is one of my favorite favorite actors. Daniel Day-Lewis is one of the best actors living today. Timothy Charlemagne was so beautiful and so vulnerable in his performance, but my pick to win it, of course, is Gary Oldman as Winston Churchill. He was unrecognizable, partially because of the prosthetics and the makeup, but also from his performance. And I think this is going to be one of those Lifetime Achievement Awards like they gave Leo a couple of years ago for Revenant. Not his best work, but definitely for all the great work that he's done over the years, Gary Oldman has done some amazing things, and he absolutely deserves to win an Oscar, and he should definitely win it here. And now moving on to Best Director, and the nominees are Christopher Nolan for Dunkirk, Jordan Peele for Get Out, Greta Gerwig for Lady Bird, Paul Thomas Anderson for Phantom Thread, and Guillermo del Toro for The Shape of Water. When the nominees were announced, 
I was so excited that Jordan Peele was nominated for Get Out. And I was so worried that Get Out wouldn't get awards recognition because it came out so early last year that I was afraid that everyone's gonna forget about it. But no, the story, the acting, the performances, the directing was so powerful and so entertaining that everyone remembered it by time awards came around. And I love Jordan Peele's directing in that film. It was amazing, it was incredible, it was organized, it was thought out, the story was great. He's gonna win for best original screenplay, no doubt in my mind. So I think because he's winning that, I don't think he is winning in this category, even though I think he deserves to. Greta Gerwig did a great job for Lady Bird. I would not be upset if she won it, but I think the real race here though is with Christopher Nolan and Guillermo del Toro. Del Toro has won several different director's awards leading up to this event, but Christopher Nolan, is one of my favorite directors. And he de he definitely deserved at least to be nominated for Inception. He wasn't even nominated for that film. But I loved what he did with Dunkirk. The storytelling of that picture was mind blowing. I was just thinking, eh, it's another war film, you know, who cares? But no, it's Christopher Nolan. And you gotta be into it if Christopher Nolan's doing it. But is he going to beat out Del Toro for The Shape of Water? Hmm, I mean, it's really a coin flip for me. I <sighs> I'm going with Del Toro. Del Toro. He's my pick. Final answer. I would not be upset at all if Christopher Nolan got the award, but yeah, it's gonna go to Del Toro. What really pisses me off about this category though is that Patty Jenkins was not nominated for Wonder Woman. What she did with that picture was so incredible and she definitely deserves some sort of recognition. So you know what? I'm giving it to you. Patty, if you're listening, I would have given you the Oscar or at least the nomination. Because Wonder Woman was so good. And finally, the creme de la creme, best picture. And the nominees are Call Me By Your Name, Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, Get Out, Lady Bird, Phantom Thread, The Post, The Shape of Water, and Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. And my vote goes to Three Billboards. With all the talk leading up to this event, I feel that the front runner right now is The Shape of Water, but I just saw Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. And I was just captivated by the whole thing. It wasn't flashy, it wasn't anything new, there wasn't any like stellar, you know, director choices, but the story, the whole picture itself, the performances were just so, so raw, so vulnerable, and so good. I also had no idea what the film was about. I went into it completely blind, and I was completely satisfied when I left. Would I be upset if Get Out won Best Picture? Hell no! That one was fucking amazing! Dunkirk was great, like I said before. Call Me By Your Name was, again, another vulnerable, a great step forward into the world of homosexuality and acceptance with mainstream media. So really, my vote goes to three billboards. Yep, I'm sticking to it. Usually when it comes to my Oscar predictions, I'm either really good with like the top tier Oscars and terrible in the undercard, or I'm either awesome in the undercard and then these top ones, I'm all over the place. But the ceremony goes down on March 4th and I'm super excited to watch this year. I thought Jimmy Kimmel did an amazing job last year as host. I'm really excited to see him come back. Hopefully we don't get a Steve Harvey situation like we did last year. It'd actually be kind of cool if they gave uh, the directors of Moonlight this year maybe a little bit more time to say thank you on behalf of it because they were kind of, you know, shoehorned in there at the end with all the chaos that was happening. But this is one of my favorite nights of the year. I love predicting for this show and I love seeing just film being celebrated everywhere for one day. So viewer, what I would like you to do is head over to my Facebook page. It's just called Caleb Watches Movies. Go ahead, like and follow it, and then post your predictions on who you think is gonna win all the Oscars, or maybe just like the top tiers like I did today. I'm really interested to see how the predictions are going this year. Because usually there's like one big standout that you're like, yep, they're gonna win everything. Kind of like La La Land last year and then Mad Max the year before. And this year, I'm sh they ain't no front runner for me. I have no idea. So again, head over to my Facebook page, like and follow and post your predictions there. And also please comment below and post your predictions there as well. And when you have a second, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm in the middle of my journey to episode 100 and beyond series. Every week I'm picking a different film, whether it's my least favorite, my favorite film, my favorite sci-fi, action adventure, romantic comedy. I'm gonna be reviewing all of those leading up to episode 100, which is my favorite movie. So everyone, I will see you next time for my next movie review. I will be chatting with everyone on March 4th for the Oscars. So in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.